Welcome to Angie R. So glad you came back to visit me once again. It's an overcast day here in Tennessee. So I decided to do a cleanup day with my paints. I had probably 30, 40 little cups with partial, just partially filled and I decided it's time to get rid of all these little cups. They're very distracting. So I'm taking a painting that I did already and I wanted to redo it. My black came out very lumpy and I think I just overworked it. Um, trying to get that perfect thing going on. But today I wanna do a chaos pour and what I have done um, no way I could tell you what colors are in these, but this is a cup of greens. These are like teals, aquas, mint and green, combination of all those colors. These are some blues that I had. This was purple. Should say it is purple. Had one little cup of yellow. These are reds and pinks. And I just combined everything into one cup. These were several whites. There might even be um, some pearls in there. I have a feeling there's some pearl in there. And this is like tans and browns. Came up with this pretty deep sable, or I guess it would be a lighter sable, maybe a deep khaki. And this is just a smidgen of quinacridone. And then I have bronze, copper, gold, and silver. So yeah, I just, I wanted to eliminate all that mess and clutter on my table and open up some more space. So what I'm going to start with is, um, let's see, I believe this is an 18 by 18 canvas. It is a square. I was looking for my measuring tape really quick, but I don't see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do um, black area here and the rest is gonna be a chaos pour. I really like those and I feel like I get some of my best results with chaos pour. So I'm just gonna fill this area in with black. looks really thick. I thought I had it thinned down pretty good, but that looks pretty thick. That's okay. This is just like going to be a crazy quilt pour. Yeah. Oh, it's moving okay. takes care of that part and now to decide just how I want to pour some of these paints because I want to blow a little bit up into the black but I want the majority of it down here so I think I'm going to start with a lighter color I have the most of this one and the pinks so I'm just going to layer that down and I think we'll go with this pink red combination whatever's going on here I 
there's no way I'll use all of this, but I would like to try to use a good portion of it. And then I think I'm going to go in with just a little bit of copper. So I have four metallics, so I have plenty of paint to put on this thing. So there's a little bit of copper. And then I think, hmm, I think I'll do a little bit of this white and pearl. Okay. And then I have purple. I'll use that all up. I have no idea how this thing is going to come out. I did one yesterday on a purple base and it came out actually quite cool. It's drying now. And then I'm going to do yellow. Let's do yellow. There we go. A little bit more. And I know I'll be blowing a lot of this paint off. But um, I have to, and then I will have to resist the urge to scrape my table. Because these are from several paintings. And I don't know how old some of this paint is. Okay, so mm, I think I'm going to go with this blue. A real, This is gorgeous. <laughs> It's a really pretty blue. And I really wanted it closer to the top just because I like it a lot. But I don't want it to take over. So that's enough of that. Then I'm going with some green. that khaki color. This quinacridone I believe was mixed with Modern Masters Burnt Orange and that produces a very beautiful color. So I'm just going to see what happens. Dribble a little bit of that in there. Oh my gosh, it's such a <laughs> so crazy. Okay, and I think I may skip the silver and copper, but I am going to do a touch of gold because I do love the gold, how it makes cells and just very pretty. Okay. So, let me torch this. Get out any air bubbles. I should say any air bubbles that I can. I'm going to go ahead and touch up these sides a little bit because I knew I couldn't see. I 
actually is not going to be hard to touch up when the painting is done just because it was already black but I wanted a fresh coat of black on there okay so I had the blinds open today but I just noticed I didn't put any lighting on this so I'm going to go ahead and light her up see if that helps a little bit there we go so couple holes in here. Alright. So I'm going to crank this up and we're just going to start blowing. Okay, that's actually pretty amazing. You can see the cells developing, the lacing. Colors are pretty cool. Actually did not get as muddy as I expected they might. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Porch, real quick, just to make sure. Okay. Well, folks, there she is. I am going to. I was going to take you in for a closer look. However, I ended up stopping the camera, trying to dislodge it from the holder. So I apologize, but thank you so much for watching.